If you own an Apple Time Capsule or Airport Extreme, which I've recommended many times before, you may have noticed that the little light on the front has gone from a solid green to a blinking amber light. While this can be a sign of a few different types of issues, most likely if you are able to get online, it really just means that you need to update your firmware on the router. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that today from a Mac, PC, iPhone, and iPad. They're pretty similar. That's coming up next on techtalkamerica.com. Firmware updates, for those of you who don't know, are a little bit like software updates, except firmware usually has to do with how something mechanically works. Recently, Apple put out an update for both of these devices, and in order to get the best performance out of your router, this is one of those updates you will definitely want to do. So, what we're gonna do is the first thing I'm gonna do is show you how to uh, do this from a Mac or a PC. Now, if you're running on a Windows PC, the first thing that you're going to need to download is the airport utility tool from Apple's website, and it's free, it's very easy to use, and I will give you, of course, the link to that in the description of this video. Now, once you've downloaded and installed it, the process is actually identical to how you do it on a Mac, so I'm just gonna pick up from there. Now, if you are doing this from a Mac, uh, you actually already have the airport utility in your computer. Just go to the spotlight here at the top right corner of your Mac, look for the little spyglass icon, click on it, and then just type in the words airport utility. When it pops up, click on it, and from here, all you're gonna to need to do is click on the little router icon that you see right here and enter in the administrator password to your router. Now, for most of you, this is probably the same password that you use to actually get into your wireless network. Now, from there, what you're gonna do is look for where it says version and click the update button next to it. The whole process should take no more than a few minutes, and in the end, uh, when it's done with everything, it will reboot your router, so don't be surprised if your internet goes down for only a few seconds. To do any of this from your iPhone or iPad, you're gonna to need to download the airport utility for iOS, which I will, of course, give you a link to in the description of this video. Once you're done, once you have it, make sure that you're connected to that wireless network and then launch the app. Now you're gonna simply tap on the router icon, enter your password, tap version, and finally, download and install. See, that wasn't so bad, was it? Now, if this video helped you, you can do us a big favor and you can hit that little like button below and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, which you can do so by clicking right here. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time. This is David A. Cox with Tech Talk America. Class dismissed. Seriously, did I just get that in one take? I think you did. I don't know who I am anymore. Someone get me a microphone so I can drop it.